I go to the movies. Yeah. If you can even believe it. And uh, it was the movie that I go to see at the Regal. And it was a movie that I did not see any trailers for. So, I didn't know anything about it. And I go to see it. And, uh, it was the movie. It was called, Pro. I'm being profiled. Profiled the movie. And, uh, I, when it, the movie started, I was like, oh, I'm going to hate this. But it might be the best version of this kind of movie I've seen. And I've seen, like, I've seen a couple. It's one of those movies where the entire movie is someone's desktop on a computer screen. You know, and they're clicking... And they're clicking on different video files and they're they're telling the story based on <clears throat> stuff that happened on this computer. Okay? And so, and apparently it's based on a true story. You find out at the end, I did not know. But it's basically, it's about... A journalist investigating how ISIS is recruiting uh, teenage girls who live in Europe to join ISIS. <laughs> so, was, and it's based on a true story. This is like a serious subject matter <laughs> that had real-world repercussions. For many people. Many, many, many people. So, it's about that, you know. And it's about the relationship this journalist develops with this ISIS fighter or commander. It doesn't really explain, or I might have missed it, how important this guy is. <laughs> Or if maybe he's just a recruiter and that's all he does. Is he tries to trick teenage girls into falling in love with him and joining ISIS. <laughs> but man, that this movie was so tense. Like, and it's just from a desktop. Like, you're looking at a computer. This, so, because of that, this movie isn't necessarily something... You need to see in a theater. I saw it at a theater. And if you want to go support theaters and stuff like that, you know, go watch it. But I think this movie might actually be better if you watch it on your laptop. <laughs> like, not even on your TV. Like, on your laptop. This movie should probably be watched on the laptop. I've seen other movies like this, like Unfriended, and, you know, there's some other ones. And I thought they were awful. You know, it's just not good. But this this movie is so good at it. <laughs> it's like, there's so much tension. It's like, oh, she's getting too comfortable. Is she going to mess up what she's doing with her desktop? You know, you know, because she's using an alias and, you know, all this sort of, she's got to have a separate desktop in case he sees it and all that sort of stuff. And she's got to record all this stuff herself because... The IT guy can't do it or something. And, you know, because she's a journalist working for a paper sort of thing. Or a news network over in England. <coughs> so, but I was, it was just so tense. I was so tense. And I went into it, like, once I realized what kind of movie it was, I was like, I'm going to hate this. But it got so good. It sucked me in. It sucked me in so good. <laughs> I, I became totally invested in this. In this story. And I didn't even know it was based on a true story. I mean, I had heard about, you know, the girls and... And even in North America, like, North America and Europe joining ISIS and stuff like that. And you're like, why would they do that? But then you watch this movie and you're like, oh, you kind of understand what happened. 
But it's... It, it really... This movie is pretty amazing. <laughs> Especially when you realize it's based on a true story of an actual journalist who did this. Like, they may have changed some stuff, you know, how they do, but... And, you know, she did pretty good. And then the guy who plays the ISIS fighter, he does pretty good. There's, There are two other characters, like the girl's fiancé in real life, and then her mom, or it might be her best friend. I, th I think it's her mom. There might be another best friend character, too. I don't really remember. But definitely, like, her mom and her fiancé. You know, and it's like how she keeps getting sucked deeper and deeper into this world. And so it starts affecting her relationships outside of it. That's an aspect of the movie. And that was pretty interesting, too. But. <laughs> it says I don't want to I don't want to give anything away, even though it is based on a true story. But I, I was so impressed with this movie that I don't want to give it away. So, <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. But it's just kind of like, wow, I, I can't, I can't imagine. I, I would have never imagined that I would have liked a movie that was this desktop view sort of movie. As much as I liked this one. I mean, it, there's obviously... I'm just saying, in this very niche genre of movies, I think this is the best one. It's definitely the best one I've seen. But as far as, you know, as good as other movies, well, other movies, it's, it's a different experience, you know. You can't even put this movie in that sort of same grouping, you know, because it's like, this movie isn't about cinematography, you know. It's not, <laughs> it's not about telling the story with camera movements, you know, and stuff like that. <laughs> it's, it, it really is just about what you can learn about a person from what they're presenting to you through a, a computer screen. Through text, you know, because they have text conversations and Facebook messaging stuff. And then, you know, they're FaceTiming and, and all that sort of stuff. So, it's just about, do you really know a person that way, you know? <laughs> and all, all that sort of stuff. So, anyway. So, that's what I... My my first thoughts on the movie Profile, which was much better than I ever would have thought. So yeah, Profile.